Uh, marine phytoplankton is the most nutrient-dense food on Earth. I'd like to say it is Mother Nature's nutrient-dense food without Mother Nature's fillers and binders. Uh, when, you, when you eat a carrot, for instance, we know that carrots are very good for us. They're a very good source of beta-carotene, but in order for the beta-carotene to get to the cells of, say, the eye that needs a beta-carotene, we have to chew and digest the carbohydrates, the sugars, the fibers in that carrot. So that's like Mother Nature's fillers and binders, all those sugars and carbohydrates. Not bad, but with marine phytoplankton, it doesn't have the, the added carbohydrates, sugars, fibers, etc. It's just the nutrients. And marine phytoplankton, therefore, being microscopic nutrition, does not have to go through the digestive process like a carrot does, for instance. It is absorbed instantly through your mucous membranes to the cellular level. And so it goes right to the membranes of our cells without having to be digested or be processed by our liver, which is huge because, as you all know, um, most people's digestive systems for, are very compromised from eating lots of dead food. Um, their livers are clogged from, from toxins. They don't have the enzymes to break down a lot of the food and the good bacteria to break down the food to get the nutrients at the cellular level. So with marine phytoplankton having that microscopic capability, I think that is huge. And the other thing is, it is a complete food. And when you look at what a complete food is, it's a food that, that nourishes the body and brings the body into nutritional balance. It's got all the 14 essential amino acids, all your vitamins, all your minerals, your good omega oils, um, the minerals being very important because we don't absorb a lot of vitamins without minerals or a lot of other nutrients without the minerals. So, um, and minerals are very hard to absorb in a synthetic state. They need to be in a food state. This is raw food. The marine phytoplankton is certified raw. So it has the life force of the marine phytoplankton there. So marine phytoplankton, over 65 nutrients in a whole food, complete form from Mother Nature. And what really excites me about marine phytoplankton, um, but it, it's not, I feel this during frequency, is not just about the marine phytoplankton. We have a real special, I say this, this formula was divinely guided because we have a second technology that takes place within this formula frequency, and that technology is from a scientist, uh, Preman Brady, out of Australia, that he basically, in a nutshell, can make oil and water mix. He can take an, any plant on earth and make a whole plant concentrate using pressure, and then using a spin on that liquid to basically bind it with the water molecule to make it absorbable to the body because our bodies are over 70% water, our brain's over 90, our blood over 90. So we have a water-soluble whole plant concentrates. And we have taken the best of the land and added it to this formula frequency that already had the best of the sea. And the best of the land being rose, the highest frequency plant on earth is roses. And we are electrical beings. We carry a megahertz. And a healthy body is 62 to 70 megahertz. And cancer and illnesses grow at a low megahertz. Uh, cancer has been identified to grow at about 40 megahertz, and with rose being 320 megahertz. And we can now ingest water-soluble roses to raise our body's frequency. So no one else has that technology to make roses water-soluble. 
And I think Rose is not only raising your, your body's physical frequency, it raises your mental frequency. Because I always say, smell a rose, it makes you smile. You can't be unhappy smelling a rose. So, And that's because of the high frequency of the rose petals. So then we have frankincense in this technology, the supercritical amping is the name for the technology that renders these water-soluble plant concentrates. And frankincense, as we all know, has been revered since biblical times for its great powers. It's the resin of the Boswellia tree from the Middle East, and um, it was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And frankincense has many healing properties um, from antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, antitumoral, anti-inflammatory. But I think one of the most important ones is its anti-anxiety properties. Uh, Frankincense is very emotional grounding. It comes from a very ancient tree. And so it really helps with anxiety and emotional grounding. And this is the first time that we've been able to consume water-soluble frankincense for those properties. Then we have water-soluble ginger. And, you know, ginger is just a great tonic for many things, um, inflammation, um, digestion, um, um, Then we have water-soluble astaxanthin, and astaxanthin is another microalgae, and it, like frankincense, does what's called crosses the blood-brain barrier. Um, We have this kind of film um, over our brain that protects it, and there's very few substances that can cross through that film, and the ones that do, you know, just naturally are good for our brain, and astaxanthin is extremely high in carotenoids. Um, It's actually what fish eat in the wild, and it turns their flesh red. And I had the fortune when I was in Kona to meet an astaxanthin farmer, because it is growing a lot off the coast of the big island of Hawaii. And uh, she gave me a little booklet on astaxanthin, and oh my gosh, it is just an incredible. The research that's being done on astaxanthin is huge right now. They're saying, I used to hear that it was about four to 500 times more antioxidant capabilities than vitamin E. This scientist told me the research coming out is that it's a thousand times more antioxidant capabilities than vitamin E. And we all know how important antioxidants are for us. So that is huge that we have this astaxanthin in there that is that high antioxidant, good for brain health, good for eye health, good for skin health. Um, just an incredible ingredient that you don't find too often. So those are what we have done with this water-soluble process. But we then also needed a carrier for these ingredients because the marine phytoplankton being microscopic, you can't see it with the naked eye. You wouldn't, it doesn't have those fillers and binders, the fibers, et cetera, that you can see. So we had to put it into some more ingredients so we would be able to consume it. So we took some more of the best of the land with the aloe juice with pure fruit concentrates. And I like to say fruit concentrates, not flavorings because there's no regulation on the flavoring industry. If it says blueberry flavoring, it can be 0.00001% of real blueberry. But being a concentrate, it's just pure blueberry, pure cranberry, and pure white grape. So you're getting the benefits of those plants, the blueberry for the eye, for instance, the cranberry for your urinary, the, the grape for your heart, 